the other. Is there more to come? Collingwood take a six-point lead into the third quarter. Greenwood. This is Trelaw. Lock horns at ground level. Elliott knocked a couple over in his path. Swallow fights back. Miller hits contested footy at its best. There's bodies jumping up and down. They're scrapping hard. They had a bit of a rest during the break to McPherson. Just there, hands push there. King. Powell. Thought about it a couple of times and then sends it deep to the top of the square hole. Oh, and work man, to do. Man. He pinched it off the pack and Swallow has kicked a goal. He'll go to Nick Holman to celebrate. It's level. They're going to find it very difficult to transition out of defence and take the ball into their forward half. So it was a good little setup kick, but again, he had to compete really hard, Holman. One against three, it was a fantastic effort. And then to feed the hand pass out results in a good goal. So it's probably one against the against the the numbers set up there, I think. It's also just a player in Chalor that doesn't really find himself with any position a lot. If that was a defender, you could nearly guarantee that that's a big fist over the line just to take out that soft drop and anyone that actually could get to the fall of the ball. In that instance, it was Holman that got his own crumb and then was able to dish it off. But if that's a defender, that ball is going over the line with a fit. It'll be tough to compete against Grundy here. Well, Day just took him out <laughs> effectively. Which wobbles one to King, who takes the mark. Sexton's on his bike, running back to the square. He brought it to ground and Jump that down, enabled please. the ball to go forward to King. Goal is until now. Ben King steps up to the 50. Wasn't good contact off the boot, that one. If you see him a little un... If you don't hit the scoreboard, they'll get you eventually, Collingwood. Strange kick in. It was left to the flukiness of the bounce. Anderson did enough. King gets a second look. And this time, he gets it right. Well, but have a look. Then he goes, oh, hands onto the head. He goes, we're in real trouble here. The ball pops out. Isn't it amazing when they don't think about it and they kick instinctively? The goalposts aren't a problem. It's a great reaction. Oh, no. Oh, no, he goes. <laughs> it just came off the side of his foot. You can read the lips. Oh, no. Oh, but you're right. When they don't think about it and they've got... Elliot. Cox. Good fist away, Ballard. Grundy. Nifty hands from Adams to Penderbury to Dugowie. He was able to turn and look and nail another one. That's four for Dugowie. Five metres. So watch the ball transition backwards, 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 and he goes, hang on a minute, we're going the wrong way. The goals are this way. And that is a great kick off two steps. Just nice quick hands around the stoppage, but then one, two. I mean, they are, they are a totally different looking side forward of the ball when he's there. And, and Mason Cox does the basics things. He's good in the air and on the ground to go, but he just knows where the goals are. Well, they're a different proposition for the... Made the kick a bit more difficult for himself, but it, oh, it very nearly landed on the chest of Josh Thomas. Now Holman, he's gone. No whistle. Greenwood can't believe it. Trelaw good enough to get it to Thomas. They've got mown down from one side and then the other. Adams, one-handed. Swallow. Crisp in the perfect spot. And... Sends it deep. It wasn't necessarily to their full forward's advantage. Ballard went the fist that time. He wasn't waiting. Callum Brown versus Miller. He's taking his legs out. Oh Beautiful oh goal last match. Callum Brown. Doesn't hit the right part of the footy that time. Might check out an awkward moment. Just having to wait for it instead. It goes through Anderson and Powell. Back into the middle. Bypass King. Good backup. Although the fumble from Corbett. Turns his body to good effect. McPherson the soccer. The chase is on now. Crisp had time to look around and be sure we're in picking up the football. Back to Quayner. Crisp, don't give it back to me. To half forward. Hoskin Elliott ripped it down. Trelaw. It's good build up by the Pies. Deep to a one on one. Collins. To go, he had him exactly where he wanted, and he shares the love. Majek puts the pies back in front. I think Mark here, but that handball there just breaks the play open, and it caused some indecision in defence where Ballard had to come back and try and impact. Got there too late, so he didn't have any impact on that marking contest. A fantastic one-on-one -on -one by Dugowie, and very unselfish to give the handball over the top to a player and make it a certain goal. 
Well, he did miss one in the first quarter from a similar position, so he just wanted to make sure of it. They just look a bit cleaner at the moment. Gold Coast are probably overusing the ball due to the pressure being there. The Collingwood on that occasion. Winds up in game 150. Top of the square, Majacek. Hits it hard at the front. Lukosius to Goey. A hard man to deny at the moment. He's involved again. Adams sprays the left and regrets it immediately. Kicks on the way out and then the handball. That's outstanding movement. And look at the result. Dave was desperate to handball it off. Now Sexton into the pocket. Oh, casual kick is a beauty. Back to the square. Oh, he played on. He played on. Yeah, good. One to two straight for the quarter. So the Suns are in front of the quarter. In that last minute, Cox. Oh, he's got it. He's jagged it. And he'll know it too. Oh, good contact. That is some mark. And an even better kick. Missing that easy shot. So it was a, it was a guaranteed goal until he decided to play on. Just didn't realise the pressure was there. Well done by Chris for following on the play. And then this, this is the work when you prepare before the ball gets there. So doing the work with your other forwards, trying to cause a little mismatch. And in the end, Cox ends up shaking Graham and ends up on both. So that's the, that's the mismatch. That's what happens when you work together as forwards and you block for your teammates. Are you a fan of the lip afterwards, Louis? Um, he gives him an earful. Are you a fan of it? No, that's a short <laughs> answer. Final turn from the Gabba. Collingwood enjoying an 11 point lead. Again, it's a tight game, a low scoring is a fair. So it's a valuable advantage at the moment. Grundy delayed the release. He set Chris up, but his reflexes and thought process so quick. He was able to release it. The kick going forward, though. The coach is doing just that. King gets pushed under the ball effectively. Corbett can't get, well, he can in the end today. Snappy hands. Sexton. Oh, that is a magnificent oh. attempt. Powell. His timing was perfect and his kick was decent enough. Day as King makes his move to his left into the pocket, then doubles back to the square. He's going to take some marking. Wasn't a great kick from Day in the end of it. That's predictable to the defence, isn't it? Oh, that show cool. bucks now. He thought he was angry a minute ago. May not done it again. Oh, we saw an oh no before. I wonder what the reaction was there. I don't think. Thread the drop punt. This season. I tell you what. David Roden should give a big smile for that one. <laughs> so this was the first one we had, oh no. <laughs> and that cost him a goal as well, but this one has cost another one and he's just started to punch the ground. Well, you got to think that, that corky from last week. Oh, look maybe at him. Not, he's asking Chris to, to come at the ball. But he would have been, he would end up in the stands from kicking so they they hurt you can understand yep. his frustration because he's a good user of the ball we're seeing players snap around the corner from directly in front we just saw the opposite they were handballing forward and this is the, the scott pendlebury one so must no, look, that's so hard for the umpire Very to see hard. it's just he's looking for a free kick brown sends collingwood to half forward again it's cox he beats great point blank he has a bounce in the wind We've sung his praises all night. Lynchy said it's the best game he's seen. I can't remember him playing a better one other than that final. He's contested, he's competed, he's taken marks. He's had a bounce, turn, had a bounce, kicked it on the run, and that is just what the doctor ordered for the Pies. I can't ever remember him taking a bounce. That might be his first <laughs> option. He'll kick to advantage of one of his tools. He's gone for the height. Grundy and Cox, they're in the mix, but Dugowie was the man most dangerous. Has he kicked the goal again? Thinks that he's touched. Yeah, that's come yeah, off the hand of Jared Harper. Miller, good combat with Adams. Moore again, they can't get past him. It's going Collingwood's way. Holding. 50. Uh, Chris, after Chris gave the hand pass, he was held, not allowed to run on. Game 150. This is for his 49th goal of his career. He'll celebrate that one with his mates. It's yeah, better. Should have picked that one up. Greenwood takes the territory for Collingwood and puts the Gold Coast defence on alert. 
And they better be now because they're streaming forward. Josh Thomas in his hundredth. He'd love one to celebrate alongside Jack Crisp. It's not to be. Jack Wayne repels it out to the wing. But the reload is on. Wasn't perfectly executed, but now it opens up for Weller. Had to quite just steady a bit. King with an opportunity, top of the square. Sexton would love his fourth. Guys, oh, Rankin, has he got it? No. Before he kicked. Down there, Gold Coast before he kicked it. Thanks, boys. Gold Coast, you got the kick. Thank you, you got the kick. Don't lose it. Gold Coast kick down there. Thank you, you've got the ball. Don't lose it. Jack, well, the way he's saying don't lose it. And Noah Anderson was getting ragdolled by Brody <laughs> Grundy. I'm not sure how you're going to lose it getting swung around by the jumper. Gold that needs to be converted to the boot of Alex Sexton. Adams. Oh, what a penalty. Another long 45 metre goal. It's going to be the Callum Brown. Tyler Brown, I should see the 30 second oh. countdown. He's around and he's nursed it back very nicely indeed. Their team back together, or at least most of them, as we get towards the eve of the finals. And a win tonight means that they can't be replaced from the top eight. They've had an impact, haven't they? Callum Brown, Tyler Brown, Josh Dacos, more youngsters getting more game. The earnest pursuit of the footy. There's some tired players yeah, out there now. It's been a slog. Oh, my check. Knocked away. Denied access that time, but he gets a second chance. Quite get the angles right. Not to be for the Suns. The siren sounds, and Collingwood have shown us that they've got the stars to be dangerous in the finals.